Hey guys, it's Jenny Sunshine. It's Wednesday, hump day, about quarter past nine. I gotta go to this job this morning. I got on the schedule, possibly changing out a toilet, if not changing it out, just repairing it. Uh, also, she's got a couple issues with her lavatories in her master bathroom. Nothing major from the sound of it. Uh, but I need to go to AutoZone right now because my tailgate, uh, I've got a, a high amp uh, breaker from the battery on those leads going back to the tailgate, power tailgate, and it appears that they're, you fucking, fucking guy scared the shit out of me. This is the latest thing now, all these uh, Trumpers have these, uh, you know, locomotive fucking horns on their trucks. I just don't know what it's all about, man. Thinking overcompensation for something. Hey, sweetie. That's my friend there. I thought she left, man. Uh, so I'm gonna run in here real quick. I gotta get something to eat, man. Last night, all I had at that, uh, Valentino's Italian Hey, All I had to eat was this wonderful salad with some uh, grilled chicken. And that chicken is good, man. You get a lot of grilled chicken in places and it's just shit that was cooked like a week ago. This stuff is amazing, man. Really, oh, uh, grilled on a <laughs> open fire. Really good. So I'm hungry, man. I fucking can't live on rabbit food. Let me go see what I can get. I'm not gonna put this thing on yet. I just need to get it on my truck. I remember buying one pretty similar to this for my boat. So I think they're gonna have it. Probably a stock item. Uh, so let's see what we get into today, guys. It's always interesting. Hey guys. So I need this. Ooh, where the camera is on this. Yeah, it's right there in this corner. So yeah, I need to pick up one of these. They don't have them at AutoZone, man. I just need to see if I've got power coming in uh, and see what happens because this appears to be broken, the reset. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can get it to work. I don't think so, man. Shit, there it goes. It's a little funky here. Maybe I need a new switch. There we go. Yeah, something's not right. Maybe it's this switch. I don't know, but uh, we'll see. I gotta get this tightened up now. Get my load tightened up. <sighs> so guys, I got a, a guy, one of the subscribers, man. It's a little, it's a little, uh, I don't know, man. This guy keeps at the end of his comments, he says, dad. I don't know, maybe I got a kid out there somewhere. Can you be a little more specific, bud, whoever you are? You know, just asking. To making a, I don't know if you're my son or just some wackadoo, you know? Some wacky motherfucker.
I really need to get my strap out and use this strap. Oh, maybe not. Or maybe not. I don't know. Such an easy knot. All right, so. The damn thing's working now, I don't know. It is what it is. But I gotta get it fixed. I need reliability. <coughs> Let's roll, roll out. Hey guys. 55 the punctual plumber is here and that clock is actually off man for some reason it's off by like I'm, I'm really a little early uh, but I just had myself a uh, sausage egg and cheese uh, McMuffin and man I just gotta tell you that shit is delicious but it should come with a warning on the package because your ass could very well explode without warning. Let me, I gotta see what, what address I'm looking for here. Uh, yeah, it's so bad. Eyes. The sun really fucked with my eyes. Photosensitive. Okay, so here we are. Passenger side to the house. I need to make sure I pull up enough so if she wants to change this toilet, I can get to it. You know what I'm saying, y'all. Alright. The mailman's gonna hate me, but... You know, can't keep everybody happy all the time, is all I'm saying. Let's go see what's up. Oh, shit, man. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. I think I'm probably going to come up these front steps because that toilet's heavy. Good morning. Good morning. Come how on are in. you? I'm good. How are you? Well, good to see you. Thank you. Have you nice been busy? Uh, as busy as I want to be. Perfect. For That's sure. all you can ask. Yeah, you see my face? Mm -hmm. a little... yeah, oh, I thought really... that was a mirror. No. You really don't? No, you did a good job. It's all down here. Dermatologist. It's, I go to Moffitt. They have, let's, yeah. let's go in yeah. here. Show me what's got cooking. Oh, God, what's not cooking? This, I pulled up. Then I can't can't get it to come back it open. up. And this, this don't one. run water completely clogged. I had to siphon it out yesterday. Okay. I did my baking soda. Yeah. That kind of stuff. I'll get that. And there's so, so much crap. crap. Oh my yeah. God. This is nothing. So much crap. All right. Um, so okay. I can fix that. And then this. The thing spikes water and takes forever for the tank to fill. Okay. Do you want right. me to just fix it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But I do want to talk to you about high toilets. Okay. Beautiful. But as, I, as I said, having just spent $15,000. Yeah. 
on those air conditioning AC. guys they get you pretty good but you know my my I, oh i didn't clear that out for you oh shoot don't worry about it i'm gonna you just can't do, do any very, damage in there you can't do any i'm damage just gonna make a quick okay. uh well you know my repair. my um my the air conditioning that i replaced <coughs> lasted 19 years mm -hmm. i can't argue that was a joke. Can't a argue. friend of mine is a is an air conditioning guy. Yeah. I, I'm just messing with him. Oh God. So we'll take this out. Okay. How did I'm you get that out? Uh, that uh, there's a nut under there. Oh, okay. Oh. Let's see. So everything's going well. Yeah. Good for you. Ouch. Okay. So. Let me see what I got cooking here. Yeah. So this definitely Jeez. has a lot of stuff in it. Crap. I can't, I mean, I don't know when it was last removed. And I'm pretty good about the baking soda and stuff regularly. Mm -hmm. Let me put this rod back in with the nut on it. And uh, that's really the only way you can get this stuff out. Okay. Is to remove the pop-up. And... Uh, push the stuff out. I may have to go get a screwdriver. I'm sure I've got plenty. Yep. Just can't believe it. Of course, as I said to you, yeah, let me go get a screwdriver. Right. What size do you need? Uh, something about 12 inches long, whatever. Okay. I'm sure I've got plenty. Hold on. This sink, guys, has no overflow. It would be easy enough just to plunge this. Uh, and if it did have an overflow, you just have to hold your fingers over that overflow. See, it's going down, but very slowly. This is probably long enough. And away goes troubles down the drain. <laughs> Is there anything else? I mean, I. It's I nothing. It just it happens. Mold, you I know. know. I, and as I said, I can't tell you. I don't know that I've ever had anybody go in that room. Oh, so when was the house built? Eighty nine. <laughs> Eighty nine. That was. 89. Uh, I got out of the Navy in '88, and yeah. I was working on this house in 1989. I know. Funny. Well, no, they wouldn't have done it when I had the new faucets put in. So, I mean, no. that's it. Yeah. No, I haven't had anybody yeah. working on that drain for ever that I know of. Yeah, I can't see the name of these. They're, uh, they're one of the... It's houses. a mowing. Yeah. This is a, a mowing uh, pop-up assembly. Yeah. I recognize it. It's a 50-50, meaning it has metal and plastic. Okay. Whoops. I have these parts on my truck. I'll be able to get these get you going. Okay. I do want to look at the condition of that rod down there because okay. uh, it's most likely on teetering right on the edge okay. of breaking. Oh, yeah, okay. we don't want that. And uh, I want to make sure I can, I'll replace it for you. I'm just okay. going to do that, okay? Okay. Do you hold water in these sinks? Do you ever like pull the pop up up and and hold water and wash your face or do anything? Um, I may on occasion do um, something that needs to be washed dain daintily, like with okay. wool. Okay, and it's holding water because I just I mean I can replace this too, but it looks like the gasket's in good condition. So let me go get the parts. Okay. Two of them. I'll fix that one. Make right. sure it's clean. Excellent. And we'll go from there. Let me turn this off. Okay. All right, guys. So. I have to admit, I was happy to hear her say, I'm not gonna do the toilet yet. So I'm gonna find my pop-ups. Not sure exactly where they are. 
I think they're on the bottom here somewhere. remembering where everything is especially because I've changed this shit so many fucking times but I think they're down here somewhere oh here they are so these are the pop-ups that I like to use uh, unfortunately, when you buy them, they don't come with that. These are these are mowing 50-50 uh, pop-ups, and uh, when you buy these, you get the pop-up like this and this rod, but it doesn't come. Oh yeah, this one's better than it. So you you gotta steal parts. You know, from stuff, but at least you have it on the truck, man. So what I need here out of this kit is this piece here. And I'm gonna get. I'm gonna have to have two of them. And I just throw that shit back in the box. Uh, this is what she needs. Uh. I gotta find one more, and then I gotta get a flapper for the toilet she's got. To Of these parts up here somewhere. Okay, so pop up parts. One more of these. You can see I, I I go through a lot of these, man. I wish they'd improve on their uh, method. You can see all these bags, and I, I gotta make sure I'm cleaning this shit out. This is the part number uh, for the. Oh, fuck it, I'll, I'll show you in a minute. Let me just find this. Thing. Hopefully, I have one more. Seems to me I remember the last time I was in this pack in here, I didn't have what I needed. to be I mean it's close and it's definitely better off better than one that's very old not brand new this is 
what it's like sometimes, guys. Sometimes it takes digging through a pile of shit, man. See all these nuts? You can tell. That's a testament to how many times I've done that. Maybe this is one. I think it is, y'all. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, let me get my uh, flappers out. So, guys, this is... I can put all this shit back. I need to get more of them. Uh, and I probably should have some way of jotting that down. Or, I used to carry a little recorder, man, which is on my phone, but the recorder is a lot easier. It's pretty easy, quick. You push the button and talk into it, and you can tell it what, what you need, you know? Okay, so... These are where my flat, all my toilet shit is stored. And she's just got a sterling toilet, which is gonna be one of these guys. And I'm gonna take two in, just in case she wants me to do the other toilet while I'm here. Uh, shouldn't really need any tools to do this. Put my glasses back on and let's go guys this is an easy one man wow look at that trip hazard this would be a great place to pump this up pump it up man it's probably cheaper just to re-pour it it's all uneven man you see this yes are you going to do something yeah. about you? Are you going to grind it down or are you going to have it pumped think, up or know. just pour a new one? I, I think a new one. Yeah. yeah. I think it would be easier. Yeah. It, that pumping concrete, it's a great idea, but it's it's expensive. Yeah. Um, okay. You know, I think I'm going to do a home and drive one side by Yeah? Pavers? A lot of people I, going. Yeah, I've got I, pavers at my yeah, house. Look into, yeah. If you got a lot of roots and stuff out there, uh, you got to be careful because the pavers will get pushed up relatively easy. Okay. So, how long have you been doing YouTube? Uh, right at about three years now. What gave you the idea? Watching other companies do it, oh, yeah. other guys, yeah. yeah. Yeah, see, this is this is ready to Fine. Oh, God. crap out. So I'm going to put a new one in. I just need to make sure that this guy, the gasket is still in there. Which it is not. It fell out when I took the. There's a little gasket that goes on that, and uh, most likely in here. I just need to locate it. Oh, I do have more of them. Let me go get a couple. You need a flashlight? No, I have one. Okay. I think Moffat did a great job on your nose. 
Yeah, I cannot complain. God's truth. Yeah, I'm happy with it for sure. Okay, so what the hell did I do with the new one? There's one of them. So this is the gasket. Okay. It's just a simple gasket. And, uh, oh, that's a damn thing. Oh, no, that might be the one I brought in. How long did your surgery take? Uh, the Mose yeah. itself took, uh, I went in. I went in and uh, I was there pretty much all day. I had to yeah. go back in like three times. Oh yeah. Yeah, get it taken care of. Mm -hmm. All right. So what we have here is down inside is a bunch of uh, some rust. similar also on his nose I think he was a ski instructor and they own a ski business and I think his surgery was like five hours mm -hmm. well I went mine was two days mm -hmm. I went one day and had the Mose mm -hmm. and then I had to go back the next day to have the plastic surgeon repair my nose yeah which you know, it was going to be a lot worse. Uh, when I got there for the plastic surgeon, yeah. he said, we're going to have to, <laughs> they were going to cut my forehead, pull the skin down like an elephant trunk and connect it to my nose and let it grow in. And once it finished growing in, they were going to put a pair of, uh, you know, uh, those surgical scissors like cutting an umbilical cord and that's what they were going to do and I was like what am I going to do I mean I have to do it so they put me under and I came out of surgery and realized that they cut me on my ear they did a flat what's considered to be a flap okay and uh have a you know you can see the big scar down the side of my nose there's a scar here they really yeah, but you I really, was shocked you how much really they did. Know, you really don't notice that, uh, you know, unless you're looking for it. Yeah, uh, I have an appointment on the 27th, and uh, they're going to most likely do one more surgery. Oh, yeah? Yeah, to clean it up a little bit, you know? You want me to put put a new flapper in that other toilet while I'm here? I mean, they're only five bucks, you know. Or sure. just leave it alone. Yeah. I mean, I think well, it's yeah. worth putting it in. Yeah. But I seem to remember having an issue putting one in that toilet. I don't know what kind. I know yeah. I fixed it one time. Well, my sister managed to crack it. The toilet. <laughs> the toilet seat. The toilet seat. Thank yep. you very much. So there's a piece of missing. She brought me a new toilet seat. You want me to put it on? i got to find it. Okay. Me, I'll call her and see. That would be great. Yeah. She managed to almost destroy my bathroom. Nice. That's always nice when visitors come by and oh, break God, things. Oh, I know. Well, she's staying with me for a little while while she gets her house ready to sell. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> Oy vey. That's a good one. Okay, guys. So I'm going to... I don't really like these clips that they came up with. They're really a pain to get on for me anyways.
there is a lot of hoses up here and this thing is not working. Because of the hoses up there, I should probably never use it there, but I'm gonna fix it. Sometimes, guys, you gotta zip tie those hoses out of the way. Okay. No, don't worry about that toilet. You have to find the toilet for each Anyway. Okay. Is it I, a I white know, toilet? Huh? Is it white? I'm gonna work on yeah, that. Yeah, both of them. Let's see what we've got over here. That, um,. Whatever you call this at the back, that's never been really good on that side. Mm -hmm. Ever since Al put it in. Yeah, what what it is is it's all the hoses underneath are uh -huh. pro prohibiting it from going where it needs to go. But I'm gonna zip tie them out of the way. Okay. I'm gonna try to get it straightened out for you. I just think that is so neat that you do YouTube. Were you surprised at how well it worked out? It took a lot of time. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, my daughter's been doing it for a long, long, long time. Oh, really? Time. Huh? Oh, yeah. So this thing doesn't look rotted. I wonder why it wasn't working. Uh, this one's in really good condition. Do you use that other sink more? Do you use that other basin more? Well, since that, I mean, yeah. normally I use that one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Look at that. God, it's truth. Here's your tool. Oh, Jesus. For cleaning out the drain. Okay. And, uh, I'm just going to put a new one in for you. I'll wipe all of this stuff up. Oh, and don't Let's worry about that. And leave this us. bike here because it'll give you a good chance to get in and reorganize. Mm -hmm. Which I actually find very therapeutic, cleaning. Very therapeutic. Always have. Yeah. When my mom died, I went and I did five loads of laundry. She died in the middle. <laughs> it is... Uh you know, it's, it's nice. It's like, you know what I said? Huh. When I was a kid, uh, I loved to sweep. Really? And we had this huge six or seven, eight foot wide uh, which, uh, sidewalk around our house. Uh -huh. And I would, I would go out there and I'd sweep that whole sidewalk. But if it is so, like you said, therapeutic. It's really therapeutic. Because you're like sweeping away, yeah, and then you look back and all of that stuff's gone. You accomplish and you, something. Yeah. Yes, it really is. Sweeping yeah. is really, really good for you. Yeah. So, so if you look outside and you see me sweeping your driveway <laughs> and you know cleaning up a little bit, just it's a therapy session for me. I really need to get these. Uh, okay. Uh, 
hard space under there. Well, these are these are back when they were making 30 inch bathroom cabinet, 30 yeah. inches high. Yeah. So the doors are very very small. Yeah. My head is like three times the size it was when I was younger. <laughs> Have you been working on any new homes? No, I don't. Yeah. It's just me, and I work from 10 to 2. Okay. Uh, I was going to get back into new construction. Yeah, that's what I thought from our last conversation. Yeah. I, I talked to a guy that I knew who was building houses, and I'll be honest, I just got turned off yeah. by the whole process. Yeah. Uh, I was amazed at how expensive things were, uh -huh. and... Uh, yeah. I was like, you know what, I just don't need this yeah. in my life. Truly. Alright, do you have a garbage can in here? I do. Oh, I'll, I'll, put, I'll wrap it all yeah, up. No, that's fine. The... I'll just, I'll just put it in there and then I'll just dump the whole thing when you're done. Oh, that's oh, fine. Okay. Well, this is really screwdriver. What does your daughter do YouTube about? Uh, she's a makeup artist. Oh. She's a graphic artist. Uh -huh. she's, uh, she went to Booker uh -huh. uh, Elementary for, uh, you know, in the arts program, which yeah. is really a good place to oh, go. Okay. And she, uh, she's just very talented, and her husband does it. Okay. And uh, they make a lot of money. Yeah. Are they here locally? This is loose as can be. Yes. Right, I need to fix that too. No, no, they live no. in Dallas now. Oh, okay. Let's see. There, I call them nomads. Yeah. <laughs> Corporate they, nomads. Once, weren't they once in Tampa? Yep. That's what I remember. Well, the they they lived in uh, over near Orlando, off of I four. Yeah. And then they moved down to. Just always on the move. Yeah. Do they have kids? Yeah, uh -huh. I have two grandsons. Uh -huh. One of them is 18 now. Oh my goodness. Yep. What does he want to do with his life? Does he know yet? Uh, he's probably going to be, you know, into computers and, and the same thing. His dad works for. Uh, Verizon okay. Wireless. Yeah. And uh, he's pretty high ranking. Mm-hmm. What's up with that? Does that happen every once in a while? Yes. So I'm not sure what, what that's all about. Usually the discussion's turned down. But uh, let me see if this is loose on there. Yeah. Doesn't appear to be. getting uh, towards the end of their life, mm. um, you know, they're kind of corroded, but yeah, that, that just turns to tighten that up, Okay. and this one's loose too, so, okay, yeah, all right, let me, put the, let me put the clip on.
actually work a lot better. So your husband put these faucets in? Oh God, no. He's been gone 11 years. Um, oh wow. Yeah, I had a handyman who no longer oh, is handy. Not, not handy anymore? No, not <laughs> handy anymore. Uh -uh. Okay. Drive me crazy. Yeah. Absolutely got a little bit of the battle. Got to the <laughs> battle. Mm -hmm. First he was a Comes roofer. Comes in with a he, cough drop every day. The thing was, he did a really good job. And yeah, he was, a lot of them were very talented He was guys. anal retentive about getting it right. Mm -hmm. But man, oh man, did he go downhill. Alcohol will do that to you. Ma'am, make sure you, yep. you know, you haven't had a problem. I haven't had to come here for any stoppage. No. But I see you have these wipes. Yeah. They need no. to go in the trash. Okay. Uh, just because they, they really are not flushable. Okay. They say they are, but they're not. Okay. Okay. Uh, but you haven't had any issues, so. No, not at all. Uh, you know, maybe keep going. And I don't use them all the time, and, you know, I run out, and then I forget to buy more and whatever, so. Yeah. But no, that's good to know. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, all of a sudden it was taking long to fill up. And then I had a look. Oh, got sprayed with water. Oh, shoot. You got a hose off here. Okay. Is that something as simple as that? Yeah. Oh, jeez Louise. This is this is simple, but you do need a... You can see that this, this uh, flapper in here. Yeah. See that? That white blue flapper yes. down there used to be this color. Okay, fine. Okay. I'm gonna put a flapper in and a new hose. Okay, great. Get your hook hooked up and hopefully it's gonna work. Guys, I hope you got some of this stuff. Alright, I think I'm done here. That's her screwdriver. She's got an extra flapper. Yeah, put a new flapper in here, a new hose. Uh, refill hose for the bowl and everything's good Johnny Sunshine looks like somebody raided my truck, man. A lot of guys have commented that, you know, they can't leave their truck unlocked because of where they're working. It's just not an issue here in, in Sarasota. Thank God, luckily. Uh, we're blessed in that regard. Gotta get some more of that. I think it's about three inches taller. Okay. Uh, definitely, you'll know the difference. Yeah. Um, thank you. Okay, thank you very much, ma'am. Uh, this is a Kohler Arc. 
Highline Arc. Okay. It is the ADA height. It comes with a, uh, it's redesigned, you know, these toilets that are, we're buying today are much better than the sure. toilets we were buying 10 years ago and 20 and 30 years ago. It's yeah. a huge difference. This comes with a, a two and an eighth inch trapway that's fully glazed, meaning the finish on the outside mm -hmm. is what's in the inside of the trapway, okay. which makes it very slick. Yeah. And two and an eighth is a is a pretty big trapway. Okay. Uh, makes a big difference. Most toilets are two inches. This comes with a slow co closed seat, <laughs> which is very nice. Uh, you just push it down and walk away. Yeah. Uh, I do this toilet for 550 installed. That's taking okay. the old one out, dis uh, disposing of it, and Perfect. putting this in. It okay. comes with a one-year warranty from me, but I believe a 10-year warranty from okay. Kohler. So. No, I will do two of those. You're going to put two Ultimate, in? Ultimately, yeah. Okay, call me when you need them. I will, absolutely. Well, it's very nice seeing you Good again. You well. Haven't seen you in a while. No. You look great. Thank you. And uh, Good luck with your face. Yeah. They did a really good job, John. I, I think Oops. so. You know, I was a little, you know, obviously that, when something like that happens, it's a shock. Well, you know, that's what they, that kind of flap is what they used to do to breast cancer. Uh-huh. They do and a lot of those up there, God. unfortunately. Breast, oh. breast cancer is uh, the yeah. number one killer yeah. in in America. And you know what's the number one female killer? Heart disease. Heart disease, yep, in women. Yep. Yep. That's because their, their husbands are killing them. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, driving Jenny you Moore. crazy. You are wonderful. I appreciate you calling. Have a great day. Enjoy you this too. beautiful weather. Oh, it's Thank you, ma'am. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, they're very nice toilets. Yeah. That Honestly, the only difference between that and the one you have yeah. is the height. Yeah. Uh, the toilet you have in there that's Sterling yeah. is a great toilet. Yeah. It's a Cola product. Yeah. Yeah. It's got the same well, gas. No, you put those in too. Yeah. 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 Perfect. All right. All right, I'll give you a call. Take it easy. Bye-bye. Bye. Bada bing, bada boom. Johnny's got to go try to get a circuit breaker for my uh, tailgate, man. I don't want that thing to shit the bed when I really need it. And, uh, I believe that there is a Napa auto parts store right around the corner here. Think of where the frig it is. Okay, I know where it is. I may even stop into my t-shirt place and have them make me up some t-shirts. Guys, what guy, which ones do you want? I kind of like the yellow, man. I know you guys it might be a little bright for most people. Oh, Jesus, the fucking... The Mennonites are out in full force, man, on their bikes. They're like a posse, man, like a motorcycle gang. They usually have some tough-looking old lady out in front, cutting the wind, causing a V so the rest of them can keep up with her. And they're all using these bikes that are electric, man. Thought them people ran off of farts. You know, gas powered, natural gas. The, the elevator doesn't quite go to the top floor, people. It's been a life of tumult. Tumult. That's a great fucking word. Look at this guy. Sons of bitches won't let me go.
Southern hospitality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 you bastards. Bastards. They come right at you, man. No indication of where they're going. Slow down, buddy. I'm in charge now. <laughs> Hey guys, so I just left uh, Royal Tees. Royal Tees is the company that I've been using since I started my business uh, with t-shirts and sweatshirts and hats and all that stuff. So I got, things are a little more expensive than they used to be for sure. Uh, so there are ways around that. I mean, I could walk in with my own shirts and say hey i need you to letter these up and you can really get shirts cheap online t-shirts online is one one spot uh you can really pick this stuff up cheap but i got a price on some hoodies uh some long sleeve shirts um some hats and uh it's not cheap so i mean i like to give them away to people i've i've I don't I don't think I've charged anybody for a t-shirt but um, it's getting expensive with shipping and handling it cost me right at about eight nine basically ten bucks to mail this stuff and uh, between the cost of having it made uh, I don't know how long I can you know I am a non-profit but geez man you know anyways I'm gonna go over here to Napa auto parts and see if I can get this circuit breaker I was very happy that this woman didn't want this toilet because I just don't I'm not feeling it I'm kind of I got up really early today five o'clock my first call was at 10 that's five hours later man I was up for like three hours and I went back to bed I went back to bed for an hour at eight o'clock so I'm kind of out of sorts man uh, anyways I made a couple bucks what you baby yeah all right let me go over here and see if I, I can get in see if I can get this part Johnny's doing yeah. what Johnny wow. does best Where? Where eating Greek salad. Delicious. I had a Chicago hot dog. If you've never had one of them, you gotta try them. But uh, <clears throat> I've got an issue with my. One of the molars on the left side of my mouth uh, up on the top. And uh, I called a. I called on. A dentist today I was there 10 years ago before I before I had uh, my bone marrow transplant I had to have a tooth pulled place is called mirror image it's two girl two women sisters they're twins they've been in business for probably 30 years they've been in the same location uh, they probably have owned that building for 25 years so I call them up to see if I can get an appointment sometime this week and they said you can come in this afternoon and she said if you want to show up a little early we'll probably be able to you know fix whatever's ailing you I have a um, a cavity man every time now the last week every time I drink something cold man it just sends a shiver through my spine and the pain is unbelievable I use a lot of I floss all the time and uh, that tooth there's always shit packed in there but I get it out you know it's not like I had 
Thanksgiving dinner from fucking 1985 stuck in there. But it's, uh... It's definitely a cavity, man. I could feel the, the floss clicking on it. So, uh, I don't know if, if we're just going to tear it out. I'm good, brother. Good. If you can bring me the check, I'd appreciate it. I'm going to finish this up. No rush. Uh, so, I don't know if I'm better off just getting the damn thing taken out. My teeth are all shifting. I got less of them than I did, you know. 10 years ago. I've only had one removed since I got out of the Navy. My teeth are in pretty good shape. Before I got out of the Navy, they took out all my wisdom teeth, man, and then gave me my walking papers. So I'm going to go to the dentist today, guys. I see pain in the future, man. At least some shots of Novocaine in the mouth, which I hate, man. I just hate fucking needles, man. I don't like it, but... We'll see. Hey, guys. Johnny Sunshine here at the post office. Sending out three t-shirts. I actually have one more I need to send. Uh... Just doing what I say I'm going to do, you know, trying anyways. I'm still waiting for that hat from Mikey Pipes. Um, I will not hold my breath. Probably got lost in the mail, I'm sure. You know, lost in the mail with my ticket to his uh, 100,000 subscriber a party we're all waiting for. Yeah. Good afternoon, my friends. Johnny Sunshine. It's Tuesday. It's Two o'clock, man. Haven't done a damn thing today. I did mail some t-shirts to three people. I still have one left to do. Uh, I'll do that tomorrow. I'll get it out. The dentist I go to is... The post office is on the way. I just came in the house. I got a gift from one of my subscribers. Appreciate it, my friend. Uh, it was it's a folding folding tables for like camping or stuff like that. But the the little note that came along with it from Amazon was from the guy. He said uh, that they work great for their little tables for tools and. Uh, folding table. I didn't get the legs. I just got the the actual table that itself the flat piece, so I'm hoping there's another uh, Another part to that puzzle coming and I will definitely use them. I appreciate it my friend uh, I'll look to see if there's a uh, an address from you um, So that I can get you a t-shirt buddy. I do want to show you that this the video that I put up today is uh, was a repair on a couple of mowing uh, mowing pop-ups. You know, these this pot right here, this rusts uh, and falls off, and then it stops to wor stops working. You can take this with like a nut driver, a very small nut driver and drive this thing down so that you have the same amount uh, sticking out of this ball. You definitely want to use something small enough that it doesn't damage the outer ring, outer uh, portion of this ball, the part that would be riding up against the little rubber or uh, Teflon gasket that comes with it. So maybe an eighth inch nut driver, uh, the smallest one you have, you'll be able to drive that thing down and probably driving it in all the way on it with a nut driver will give you the length that you need for it to work but i just buy these i think it was five bucks uh for the part uh, i'm going to try to give you the the part number hopefully you can see that 
uh, mowing. It's an original mowing part, and it's just a pivot rod. I buy the fifth. This goes on a fit. What's considered to be a 50/50 waste. 50% metal, 50% plastic. They're very reliable, easy to put in. And uh, the only bad thing I have to say about them is this rod. And uh, the fact that it'll rot, eventually rot off. But you got plenty on this side of the ball to actually just, it's just a press fitting. They just press that ball onto this. So uh, you can lengthen it if it were, you know, if you wanted to, you could cut off the rusty part and just drive it in. But I buy them. I, I bought 10 of them yesterday from Amazon. I've got them all. You know, they came in a box today. Uh, I just left uh, Detweiler's. I sat there for two hours today talking to a woman who is very, very, very nice. Uh... We seem to be on the same page. Uh, she's 80 years old. And I would say she is extremely wealthy. Like 1% wealthy. She showed me a college that she supports uh, women's sports. And uh, she donates a lot of money to this college. She actually has her name on this stadium and the scoreboard. So my guess is she's extremely wealthy, but just a down-to-earth woman. And uh, I just have to say she's smitten with me. I mean, what's not to like, man? You know, really. I mean, I'm not trying to brag or nothing, but damn, son. It's, I'm just... I'm just, some people call me Captain Obvious. Yeah. Anyway, she was very nice. I talked to her for two hours, and she didn't want to let me go. She was holding my arm, and uh, she's probably lonely, man. No, I don't know, man. I can't do that. <laughs> Anyways, uh... I'm gonna stitch a video together, what I did yesterday. It's not that, I think it's a good video. The part, the interesting part was the toilet repair, which somehow it didn't get recorded with my phone. Unfortunately, with the phone recording with that, the downside of that is uh, you can't see what the phone is recording on the other side or if it's even recording at all. There's no blinking red light uh, from behind. So when you got the camera facing down, you're flying by the seat of your pants. Which that's pretty much how I live my life. But uh, anyway, so I didn't get the, the toilet repair. But I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, tomorrow is going to be a busy day on Friday, which I really like my Fridays to be very, very, very easy. I walked up today, there were two packages on my porch, and I thought, wow, maybe that hat from Mikey Pipes is here, uh, from Plumbing by Tom. Nope, not yet, guys. Uh, so we'll just continue to hold our breath till that hat shows up. Not that I need to wear a hat. Thank God I got a little bit of hair. Little bit. God left me with a little bit. And I appreciate that. Praise the Almighty. Yeehaw! <laughs> Alright guys, have a great evening. Have a great day. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. I can see that my see my filter needs to be cleaned. They were just here on Tuesday. It's Thursday, and my guess is they didn't clean it on Tuesday. So you know, I pay for a pool service, and they do half of it. You know, I guess that's an upgrade. Anyways, guys, have a great day, man. Whoops. <laughs>